Welcome to the Slow Poetry Trail. It's in Bolton Abbey's grounds in North Yorkshire, and this is the start of the trail. What's slow poetry when it's at home? Well, I think all poetry is slow poetry. I think it's an act of attention that needs to be taken time over, read over, written over. I think if we take life a bit more slowly, like eating slow food, for example, we might enjoy ourselves a little bit more and be a bit more exquisite in our perceptions back of the world. And if that isn't ecological, I don't know what is. Okay, now the slow poetry trail begins here, and one of the things that you see here are my ankle high haiku. A haiku only has 17 syllables, there are three lines, and a very strict performance of the syllables within those lines. There's a poem called Ciceration. What is Ciceration? Well, Ciceration is what we cannot hear just now. We can hear lots of other things just now. We can hear children playing in the woods, we can hear birds sung, we can hear a, a recorder actually in the distance too. But Ciceration is what we can't hear because it's so still and beautiful. Ciceration is the wind in the trees, it's the wind talking in the trees, and to my mind it's the trees talking, almost, whispering to each other. Now I'll read you the poem. Susurration. The Academy of Ancient Root Systems is open. Hush. Listen. Many of the poems in the Slow Poetry Trail require you if you like to listen, not only to the words, but kind of listen to yourself, listen to your, just listen to yourself, paying attention. Sometimes paying attention for the first time that you have since you were a child learning how to think. Anyway, I'm going to go on to the Slow Poetry Trail now. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later. Strid Wood Hide. Woodlouse, Woodmouse, Woodhouse, this hide, this seek, look out. Look out, dawn, wood rouse. Marriage of strid trees to those of the valley of desolation. Exchange your tree rings as we pronounce you oak, elm, larch, yew, lime, spruce, ash. Strid moles wage war on themselves. Squeak, twitter, brawl, blind as worms in Strid's lapsed trenches. Stridwood 411. Pre-dawn massacres. Mouse, vole, shrew, hooked in the headlights of an owl's eyes. The Red Plough and its audience. The Red Plough shapes lines, read by seed, mite, worm, gull, sun. Sown, so much depends. Green woodpecker, circling magician, green man, Merlin's laughter, soft rolls on an oak's drum. Understrid wood, for intelligence concerning woodlice or wood mice, inquire below.